Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm going to go over what I think are the best keyboard shortcuts for 2021, subject to change at any moment, at any time. And first off, I should tell you my whole goal is to keep everything with my left hand, to be able to edit like a typist, like a stenographer would with my left hand and have my right hand on the mouse the whole time. That's the ultimate goal. With this top row, the first thing I would do, I keep the same is one, two, three, four, five. That's how I'm moving 10 frames, one frame at a time, left and right. And I'm actually playing the sequence. I use space bar to stop usually, I guess, play and stop. So on the second row, what I keep the same is Q, W, E, R, T, right? T to select the clip, Q to go to the in point, W to go to the out point, and E, R, obviously the hugest uh, ones I use most of the time. In out, in out. I don't understand in theory why Premiere starts the in and out with IO. It's unless you're a righty, it's way too far over where I want to be in this left hand in this area right here. So third row, I do change A and S. I'll go over that in a second, but I do keep the um, you know remove out, remove in D F G would be to G to remove both the in and out. And on the bottom row, I only keep lift and extract it's called v and b obviously are huge to edit anything i want into from the source monitor into the timeline obviously i have a big video on this, this is one of my hugest keyboard shorts just control alt c will bring everything into the monitor with effects and certain layers and that is something i use all the time and then the other one is control a and control shift a so control a highlights all the tracks which keeps everything in sync. You are now, you. it's the same thing as if you had sync locks activated and control shift A. Control shift A removes all that. And now in theory, I can only have one track. It's the reverse way of, of thinking about using sync locks. You have everything in sync and then you remove something because you want to move on one track. What I do is keep everything out of sync and then I want to, if I want to move one track, I move one track. If I want to put everything in sync, control A, and then I'm back to my default setting here. If I want to move only two certain tracks, I'll do that. So let's go over what I change here. These two buttons right here, uh, the tilde key and the tab key, I think are the two most important buttons in Avid. So for everybody, it might be a little different. What I like to use is tilde key. I use batch import because I do so much work in After Effects. And what I'm doing, like in this case here, I did this corporate piece, right, with all this text on it and these people's titles. And what happened, of course, these titles changed. I can just batch import this file. And once I double click that and import that, it replaces the file. It's think about like Premiere or After Effects that replaces the file. I don't have to recut it in. I don't have to link. I don't have to do anything. If these words changed on the original file, it will change in the sequence. So I batch import a lot of After Effects stuff. That's why this tilde key is batch import for me. Tab, I have a video on this. Tab is probably the greatest keyboard shortcut in history. This is how I trim clips left and right. I just mark an in point. I just mark an out point. Uh, I, can't, I shouldn't be using this video because uh, I, need, I need this video. I shouldn't be messing around with this video. But um, any track, any audio with dissolves, with right here down with the dissolve, uh, extend. I extend, I extend with the tab. All I have to do is mark an in and out on whatever side I want to. I have a good video on that already made. Okay, so those two are set. So A and S, I think, are all my other two sort of main real estate areas. What should I do with A and S? A, I have as match frame and go back into the source monitor to change, you know, the in, the out, whatever I want to do there. And S is funny. S, I had for a long time as render at position and realized that was kind of useless. I very rarely used it. So I'm starting to use now what I've decided in 2021. So I have a load filler here of 10 frames. And I'm going to see how that goes for me. This will obviously save me the step of going in here, load filler, marking in and out. And now I have it mapped to my keyboard. Okay, my C is add edit. Another one, uh, you know, I don't really use add edit that much, but I guess I use it enough that I thought instead of making it a button or something like that, it's close to me. It's in C. So these are my three real estate, A, S, C, tab, tilde. What are these five things? What are you using most? Sometimes it depends on your job, right? Um, the slip and slide tools over here, I don't use them that much, so I'm fine with them over here. The other ones, I use the keyframe to audio rubber band, but again, I'm thinking of switching that to S, and I probably will after this video. I think it's a better use. I use it more than I use um, load filler. 
And the other one is dissolve. So I've thought about moving dissolve somewhere else because it's so many times I have to move the frame over here. Maybe I should think about even moving six to be dissolve. It's possible. That's a good idea here. Let's go over the F keyboard shortcuts. My big one, I'll probably keep this forever. F2 is render in to out. So obviously every video, so many times, I'm, I'm, I'm marking it in, I'm marking it out, I'm hitting control A, I'm hitting F2, right? And then I'm rendering. F3 to me is export. These are the uh, two top things, F2 and F3 to do that. F4, uh, I, I use it because of for work. I'm, I go in and out of the interplay uh, login window so much. I use F4 for interplay login window. F5 and F6 are video and audio mix downs. F7 is my color correction mode. And F8 is to go back into source record mode. So color correction, F8. So now if I go over to pr Premiere real quick and, and see how I tried to integrate my Avid keyboard shortcuts into Premiere, almost all of them are exactly the same. I really tried to keep as many of the same as possible, right? A is match frame, the top row moving. You can't move 10 frames at a time in Premiere. You can only move it five frames at a time, but whatever. I can't do the control A, control shift A. I have to do that with the mouse using shift. I do that. Tab is not a key that you can add a function to, which is super annoying, obviously, for me coming from Avid. But the way I extend clips left and right, mark it in, and then I'll hit shift A, or I will go back, control Z that, and hit shift S. So shift S to extend to the right, shift A to extend to the left. But most everything I'm trying to do with my left hand, VB, add, edit, lift, extract, um, almost all of it is very, very similar. And that's the way I would suggest trying to work in Premiere and Avid with the same keyboard shortcuts as closely as possible. It's just muscle memory. It's going to make your fingers move so much faster and you edit time and, and give you time, give you more time to relax and pop open a nice beer. I'm sure there's some things I'm forgetting. Oh, my media browser is at seven. You definitely want to have a keyboard shortcut to activate your media browser where you're going to link and import as much footage as possible, as much great footage as possible with the great videos that you're making and you're making them so much faster because you now have the greatest keyboard shortcuts ever, maybe for a minute until you see someone who has a better keyboard shortcut and then your keyboard shortcut will change dramatically. This is now April, 2021. I'm getting very close to getting the vaccine, in which case I will be going to my local bar and offering to do tequila body shots out of any man or woman's belly button in the place in celebration of the return of normal life and drinking and shaking hands and chugging shots and vomiting and vomiting on each other and not worrying about these stupid viruses. I'm so excited. Uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel and so please subscribe please leave comments below with your keyboard shortcuts that i'm sure i'm i'm, I'm gonna make a video very soon about um some tips i've gotten from viewers in the comments it's just awesome stuff so thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video